Hey yo, E King's Fight News, and we are back. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to all the subscribers out there. And you know, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Anthony AJ Joshua had some very uh, general statements out there. Was it directed at Deontay Wilder? A lot of people are assuming that, but this is what Anthony Joshua had to say, breaking his silence on social media, right? That's the one thing he has done is break his silence. And this is what he had to say. Sorry for not posting in a while. I've just been hanging around, waiting for a signature hashtag AJ Boxing. Okay. So, Anthony Joshua's waiting for his signature. Hey, hold on a second. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you talking about, AJ? Who the fuck are you talking? Are you talking about Deontay Wilder? Or are you talking about Russian juice out there, Alexander Povetkin? I mean, there's two guys out there that's willing to fight you that have contracts. Uh, you know, nothing's been announced with Alexander Povetkin except for the venue. We know he's going to be fighting Wembley Stadium in London, September 22nd. That's all we know at this point. Why? Well, that's a good question that only Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua can answer. But you know what? Let's get it. Fans react. What, what will we find in this wonderful comment section? Let's check it out. E-King Fight News. More on this. All right, so let's check this out. Uh, RC Presidente, you haven't said anything because when you did, you said 50 mil and went ghost. Cut the shit. Oh, boy. Okay, Lucky Meds had this to say. Laughing out loud. Wrong again as my superhero was Spider-Man. I just believe that Joshua understands... The sweet science of boxing a little better than Wilder. Alright, so this guy's, uh, he's into the Joshua height, clearly. Uh, we're not done, guys. Alright, we got ducks all around. I never believed them when two years ago they said it, it, it was gonna be till 2019. Oh, y'all remember that one, yeah? That's right, they did say that. Hanging around. I don't know, laughing to crying? Not sure what that means. Ortiz will beat the shit out of AJ. Oh! Luis King Kong. That's right, he's coming back to face Joe Hanks. <laughs> you have to try this shit. S23 off that bar. I don't know what that means, man. <coughs> Bro, you're wasting your tr time trying to get these idiots to understand their loss, bro. They didn't get it, bro. These fools out here believe in any damn thing. We got the pen and paper. He supposedly agrees but forgot to send it back. You know what's so interesting about this? Anthony Joshua, your boy right here. He's been so ambiguous about the whole fucking about the whole fucking thing. Are you, like, are you talking about Pavekin? Because from what I hear, you haven't announced the Pavekin fight. You're supposed to be fighting Pavekin next. No announcement, right? Where's the announcement? Where's the announcement for Pavekin? But you're supposed to be fighting him next. So what's up with that? Are you waiting on a, a signature from Pavekin? Because if you're waiting on a signature from Pavekin, then that, 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 that brings in that whole WBA bullshit situation. M remember, remember the WBA had this uh, quote unquote imminent, imminent uh, notice to Anthony Joshua that he has to agree to fight. Alexander Povetkin, y'all remember that? I mean, do you, or, or, or y'all just forget? 
Y'all remember that or y'all just forget, man? He can't fight news, man. Y'all know. Man, these guys are really going in on AJ, man. You're a coward and a fraud. The biggest duck in boxing, period. The biggest duck in boxing, period. We want 50-50 or no deal. At Bronze Bomber Squad Gang. Yo, I don't know, man. Some dude's really uh, talking that wild shit out here. You mean you thought Wilder was on here and Andy told you to duck? This guy makes it hard to look easy, but that's the trick with hard work. At Boxing Ego. Hey, shout the Ego out here, man. He made the comments. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, AJ... AJ's a funny dude, man. I mean, he really is. He, he takes what? He takes damn near three weeks off social media, shows up and says, you know what? He's hanging around, waiting for signatures. That's what he be doing. And, you know, I'm really just getting tired of this dude, man. Like, he's, it's really, nothing is interesting about AJ. There's nothing entertaining about AJ, except for when you see this guy in the ring. And even when he's in the ring, half the time, he's not entertaining. I mean, more, I mean, I'd say in recent, in recent fights, he has not been entertaining in the ring at all. Joseph Parker, I damn near slept through that fight. That referee kept me awake. Fucking Carlos Takam. That was interesting to me because Takam was hanging in there with AJ and and taking all his best shots. I mean, his 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 greatest performance was that Vladimir Klitschko fight, and and we give him credit for that. No question about it. Vladimir Klitschko was still uh, one of the best heavyweights in the division at the time. I don't know if we call him the best heavyweight because he just lost to Tyson Fury. But it is what it is. In terms of this fight, at this stage, I don't see it happening in April. I think that date is really reserved for, it's really reserved for Dillian White. If Dillian White ends up winning that fight against Joseph Parker, we're probably going to see AJ versus Dillian part two. And I mean, is, is that really a competitive fight? I don't know. Dillian, Dillian White has to get past Joseph Parker first. I'll tell you that much. Um, e King Fight News, y'all know what it is, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You, you know what's interesting? Deontay Wilder has actually been quite silent on the issue as well. We know he came out and said, we're moving on. We've had enough of this shit. We're not playing any more games with this hoe. And how do you not agree? I mean, this guy did everything he could to make this fight happen. You want to talk about signing contracts? Unbelievable. But I mean, end of the day, there are more lucrative fights out there. Tyson Fury is out there. And that's a big fight. That's a real big fight that could be built up if both guys have some kind of a tune-up. Uh, we know Tyson Fury's got a tune-up coming up. Deontay Wilder takes takes care of, uh, he could take care of Brazil. He could take care of, um, uh, you know, that, 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 that kid from New York coming up, Kawanaki or whatever his name is. He could take care of one of those guys. Anybody in the top 10 can get it. Or maybe even. You never know who, who Deontay Wilder might pick. But um, I think that Tyson Fury could be legitimately just as big as an Anthony Joshua fight. But what Tyson Fury needs to do is he needs to really make a name for himself in the U.S. If he can do that, that would, um, that would really help the marketability of a Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight. Uh, maybe if he, if, if, if he showed up at a, at, a, at a Deontay Wilder fight, they did a little face-off. I think that could draw a lot of interest into a Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight, and it would be just as big as an Anthony Joshua fight. E King Fight News, y'all know what it is, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we're out. And also, if you haven't already, hit me up on Patreon and Instagram. E King Fight News. We're on both platforms. And we are adding content every fucking day. Y'all know what it is.